Good afternoon to one and all, and welcome to Hamilton, Ontario, as Match Week 5, excuse me, has come and gone. Match Week 6 begins at Tim Hortons Field with Forge hosting Vancouver. Bobby Smirniotis has made seven changes to his team in anticipation of CF Montreal in midweek. Remaining our manager card, James, who has played every single minute for Forge since signing with the club, and Reza Rama defensively, Abubakar Sissoko and Jordan Hamilton. Everyone else is new. Lining up on the other side of the pitch, Afshin Gotbi and Vancouver FC. A record of one win, two draws, and two defeats this season. They make three changes. Marcus Simmons makes his Vancouver FC debut. Minjay Kwok also into the team. And Nikki Jima, the other fullback, Rezard Rama, working with David Schwanier on the near side. Sissoko returns the ball. First time cross, stepped on by Rubens Pasias. It should be 1-0 for one of this league's youngest and most exciting attacking prospects and one of Forge's top goal scorers. That's one he will certainly want to have back. And they break. Clock high, arcing ball. Marsh, excuse me, Garvin Matusala first on it. And then a wild volley from outside of the 18-yard box. Matusala under a bit of pressure from Hundal. Turns the ball over. Sandoval uses the outside of his foot. Tricky technique. It's a couple of times now he's tried to catch the Forge keeper napping. Time and space for Poku. Pasillas and Hamilton both making runs towards Irving for Sissoko. Of course, have a full pre, post, and halftime show for you. And one soccer today, one nation will be full of all the storylines to talk about. Poku, brilliant cutback. Here's Pasias. Couldn't move that around. Callum Irving. There we are again. Poku overlapping, getting the ball. Is the third time the charm? No. Nice read though from Kwok. A fourth cross. Oh, Hundo comes over. Could have, should have, and probably would have done better. Forge, they're fifth in that ranking of 250. This is Schwanier for Hamilton. I don't think he was expecting that to get over the head of Bakari, and then it fell to him in perfect position to do something special. It would have been beautiful, but he's got to bring this down. As soon as you see Bakari gamble. Mandricard James floats the ball to Schwenier, who cuts around Tyler Crawford, cuts it back towards Hamilton. Here's the follow up from Jensen. You cannot say that Forge have not had their chances. Four big moments through 40 minutes, and Schwenier has been the best player on the park. Minjay Kwok buys his side a bit of time. Now Noah Jensen has a strike that's deflected. And that is an unbelievable finish from Rama. Does the flag stay down? No, Peter Penley just robbed us of an acrobatic finish from Razart Rama, the right back. Yeah, that's how we did it. Takes a tick. Now Sissoko, what a pop from Cal just to keep that away from Wuben Spasias. Vancouver will clear, but that was a warning shot. The neutral and supporters of just about every other club in the CPL will be rooting for a Vancouver upset to try and slow Forge down as they sit five points clear of everyone but Pacific. Now Borges just needs the touch to send it over to Woods. Campbell battling and getting tied up with Clark, who stays cool, doesn't overcommit. And he thought he had put that off the forge forward, and it should be a goal kick. Becker able to pick out Hamilton, who goes first time and can't hit the target on another volley. Yeah, it's not a bad stuff to be bringing on, I, to be honest. Not, uh, Oh, Borges, this is pretty. Campbell keeps the play alive. Nearly able to sneak that into the near post was Hamilton from just two steps away from Callum Irving. It's a great ball in. Great positioning from Taryn Campbell there. Gets up. Jimmy Bakari had led the Canadian Premier League in blocks with 12 before this match even started, which is double Klopp and Marjager, who were second in that category. 
Now Borges trying to chop and change and open up a lane. It's high and it's wide away from Callum Irvin's goal. Conceding this late would be absolutely heartbreaking for Vancouver, who will put in a valiant performance. Can Ford snatch victory late in this game? No, oh, they should have again. Jordan Hamilton. His XG alone is probably three or four in this match. Kept in the Vancouver half. Mandricard James lifts it high, tracking, sent back by Rama. Jensen settles it down and sends it high of the woodwork. The 18th shot of the match, they have only put three on target. It's unfortunate there, they, everyone forward, Rama forward. They pushed Kyle Beckers up there, Tristan Borges. They tried. Vancouver undermanned but not outbattled in this match as their first trip to Hamilton. We'll see them take a point back to Vancouver with them as Forge dominate everything but the goal column. It ends up in a nil-nil draw in a very well-executed game plan by Afshin Gotti and his sides. The points are split. Pacific can take Forge on Sunday. At full time, it is Forge nil. Vancouver nil.